Hi Year 4, it's Miss Keep and to this week I'm going to be doing your writing with you. We are going to start a new text map and I think it's going to be one that you're really going to like. So let's get started. First of all, um, on the screen below, I would like you to watch this advert and I want you to have a think about what the advert is for and what is the purpose of the advert. Okay, so I hope that when you watch that advert, you recognise that it is an advert for Alton Towers. Some of you might have even been there. Um, and the purpose of the advert is to encourage and make people want to go there. So when you watched it, you might have thought, oh, that looks so good. Or I really want to go there. And that is the purpose of the advert. It's something to make um, an attraction or the actual place look really good so that the members of public think I'm going to go there, that looks amazing. So now on the screen um, you should see three different pictures and I want you to have a little think about what type of text are these. So by type of text I mean are they letters, are they diaries, um, what sort of text are they? Have a little think. Okay, let me remove the blue box then. So they are leaflets. So well done if you said they're leaflets. Um, I want you to have a little think. How are they similar to a TV advert? Maybe you could pause the video and if you're watching this with a grown up, uh, maybe you could let them know what you think. Where might you find a leaflet? Where have you ever seen them before? Um, where could you pick them up from? Have a little think, where might you find them? I know that I've seen them. When I do my sh weekly food shop, I see them um, in the supermarkets, or you might see them in the post offices, or you might sometimes they even get delivered to your door. Um, so yeah, have a little think where you might have seen a leaflet before. Okay, so now it is the exciting part. We are going to be writing our very own leaflet to advertise a theme park that we have created called Zuma World of Adventures. So before we can start making our leaflet, we need to find out a little bit about it. And this is where we're gonna learn our text map. The title for the text map is Zuma World of Adventures. So for this, my action is going to be Zuma world of adventures. Now below where it says introduction that has got that has been underlined so I wonder if anybody can remember what feature that is called. So that is a subheading and in my class when we do text maps we just do this for a subheading we go like that that's the action we use. So I'm going to do introduction the first sentence then is, are you bored at the weekend? So for that, I'm going to do, are you bored at the weekends? Then the second sentence, are the kids driving you mad? Are the kids driving you mad? Why not head straight to Zuma World of Adventures? So I might do, um, why not head straight to Zuma World of Adventures? and enter a world of wonder um, and enter, like I'm walking, and enter a world of wonder. What could I do for wonder? Um, I might do like this and enter a world of wonder. So putting that all together, I will start from the beginning. Zuma world of adventures. Introduction. Are you bored at the weekends? Are the kids driving you mad? Why not head straight to Zuma World of Adventures and enter a world of wonder? Okay, the second bit then. 
is called is another subheading and it's rides and attractions so just like i did for introduction i'm going to do the same for my next subheading which is rides and attractions the drop zone coaster makes you face your fears with its terrifying vertical drop so for this i'm going to do uh, the drop zone coaster makes you face your fears with its terrifying vertical drop for the next sentence fly through the air on the screamer which has eight loops um so fly through the air on the screamer which has eight loops for the next sentence creep through the spine tingling haunted house so i might do creep through the spine tingling haunted house. Can't really see the top, but I'm just doing like a house shape. Um, visit giant giraffes, visit giant giraffes and feed the playful penguins. Don't miss the incredible acro acrobat show. So um, don't miss the incredible, don't miss the incredible. Don't miss the incredible acrobat show. I might do like, don't miss the incredible acrobat show. Putting it all together then. Rides and attractions. The drop zone coaster makes you face your fears with its terrifying vertical drop. Fly through the air on the screamer, which has eight loops creep through the spine tingling haunted house visit giant giraffes and feed the playful penguins don't miss the incredible acrobat show and then the last two sections so the first one is another subheading because it's underlined and it says what else so like all my other um subheadings i'm going to do the same action so that's just what else what else? I'll read it first. There is ample parking, a cool cafe, a terrific train and a great gift shop. Bounce your way through the trampoline park and wind your way through the mysterious maze. When we read that, you might have a think, what are all of these things called? There's a special name for them. A cool cafe, a terrific train and a great gift. What is that special thing? Um, what's that special word that when like two or three different words all start with the same letter what's it called i know children in my class would definitely know this so have a think anyway let's carry on with the text map so subheading what else just thought that some children might not be too sure what the word ample means that's absolutely fine so ample just means that there's enough or there's more than enough or there's plenty so there's plenty of parking for example um i know i did this action already for driving but my brain's not that creative at this at the moment so i'm going to do there is ample parking a cool cafe a terrific train what could i do for train um terrific train terrific train and a great gift shop um and i might do like gift because i'm giving it to someone and a great gift shop so for bounce your way through the trampoline park i'm just gonna just bounce where i am so bounce your way through the trampoline park and wind your way through the mysterious maze and i'm just gonna pretend to draw like a little maze with my finger so from the top of that section what else there is ample parking a cool cafe a terrific train and a great gift shop bounce your way through the trampoline park and um and wind your way through the mysterious maze the last bit then useful information it's a subheading so i'm just gonna do the same action as all of the others useful information we are open all day every day from nine till six find us five minutes from junction five on the motorway where the magic never ends okay so we are open all day we are open all day from nine you can remember you can make your own actions from nine till six find us five minutes from junction five on the motorway um on the motorway i might just do like on the motorway 
And then the last bit is a slogan and it says, where the magic never ends. Yeah, for so now you've had to watch me do all of that. Um, now your challenge or your task for today is to learn the te text map. So it's all on the screen um, and also it will be on the website to print out as well. And I, we would like you to learn it. Um, you can either use my actions or create your own actions and then send it send it to us as a video so that we can see your actions for the text map that we have created okay good luck i hope you enjoy it um and i will see you tomorrow